Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Does it mean that as a mule of Moja One Kenya Coalition members of parliament are tired debating against Kenya Kwanza members of parliament? Have you noticed that yesterday, wakati walikuwa na debate about housing bill, 80% of members of parliament from Azimio la Umoja One Kenya Coalition, they were upset. The seats were empty. What does it signify as the opposition members of parliament boycotting the discussion and debating of this housing bill as some of them who are present decided to vote yes to William Ruto's housing bill while others say no and a big problem there was that you find that bigger percentage of members of parliament were not present on the side of Azimiolo Moja on Kenya coalition. When you look at the seats of Kenya Kwanza members of parliament, the seats were full. Then I remember when Raila Odinga decided to say this. Kenya <laughs> Kenya Dimona kwanza meanza, alianza kwanza na bungi. Bungi wameshika mateki sasa. Bungi haina nguvu. Unahasiwa. Bungi umepinya makende. Haina makende tena. Bungi sasa sheria inatoka ikulu na inapitishwa kwa bungi siku hiyo hiyo hiyo. Hakuna bungi. Uh, bungi kazi yao suni mambo ya CDF Gawanya CDF Takupewa pesa kwenda usafiri huka Australia Chukua rafiki yango Mchana wenda na Dubai Yenda kia kule Canada na Catholic Hakuna chichote Lapo metangu la wanazunguka hao Na kuja kufanya harambe hapa Zini, ana, ni, Bina speaker Speaker Anafanya vile imetoka kwenye kulu Sharia mbofu kama zile the section 2A. The petition of Bunge Sikumoja. So then it means that it is difficult for the Azimio MPs to come and waste a lot of their time debating. And already William Ruto is telling you that the housing bill is going to pass. You like it or you don't like it. So I think on the side of Azimula Moja on Kenya coalition, they're feeling like there's no need for them to waste a lot of time debating with those who have already decided they're not going to debate. Rather, they are going just to say, pose the question, we vote. So as William Ruto himself telling you that even if you will debate, we have all means that housing bill will pass and uh, go through. In the National Assembly, let us uh, progress it to the Senate and let us get working. Let me tell you this. We will implement the housing program. I don't want to say by whatever means possible. I have just said we will implement. <laughs> we will. Because it is what other progressive countries have done. It has worked. It is not an invention. Then there's something sensitive. We are lacking in our National Assembly and Senate Assembly. Out of almost 150 as new MPs, only 58 turn out to vote. They, allow, they are allowing 141 MPs of Kenya Kwanzaa team to sail through the affordable housing bill. And if you are very keen 
Lots of empty seats yesterday in Parliament will identify something signif significant as we speak. The question is, what will, ha what will have happened if the Azimio Moja One Kenya coalition turned and vote against it, even if the Kenya Kwanza regime would have won. At least we could have, ha, we could even under, uh, 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 yani, tungekua, no uwezo wa kusema kwamba, at least they have tried. But again, to the Azimio MPs, to the Azimio MPs, At the starting point of this video, I've displayed the video of Rai Rodinga. Saying kwamba, Bunge imeshikwa mateka. And you cannot say anything in this parliament. Because William Ruto is having the majority. In the National Assembly, and the Senate Assembly, they will just decide in status. They say, there's something that must pass. Even, don't waste your time debating. Rai Rodinga is telling you that long time ago, when they were MPs, you could come out and pose the question after people have de debated. But nowadays, you will find that MPs, they don't want to uh, debate, especially these Kenya Kwanza crooks. Some of them even do not, they are illiterate, I'm telling you, and I'm not fearing to say that. Some MPs from Kenya Kwanza, they are so illiterate. Then so, what they are being told, your work and your job, is to distribute buses. Not knowing that they have also other roles and duties. You cannot tell me that a member of parliament, his function or his role is to distribute buses. Secondly, his role is to attend our base. Is that the work of Member of Parliament? These Members of Parliament, they have function and roles in the House. They must debate. They must give their minds. But what you are having today, this 13th Parliament, it is very, very shocking. You cannot tell me that the Kenya Kwanzaa MPs, they are just there sitting, waiting, telling Speaker, post the question. We vote yes or no. That is it. But for example, look at look at the the Senate. The other time, Sefuna was complaining that them, the side of Azimio, they always debate thoroughly. But Kenya Kwanza side, they always don't want to debate. They always ask the speaker to post the question. They vote yes or no then it means we are having problem in our parliament. Because, for example, yesterday during the voting for second reading of affordable housing bill that was passed by the Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament, 141 against 58, as you I wonder, the question I'm asking, even if you are being defeat, defeated, where are the Azimio MPs? Where are they? At this time, that voting was continuing. Then, we will find out later, in the weekend, when they address their supporters somewhere. It is so, so shame. Even if we are in Azimio, even if you are in Azimio, even if you are in Kenya Kwanza, or I'm in Kenya Kwanza, it is literally not understandable when a member of parliament elected to have some duties in the National Assembly, but according to their minds, they do understand that the big role is to do Arambai, Arambes, attend funerals, distribute bursaries, you know, some of them even are not in the country. As William Ruto is bragging, they will pass all their issues. You like it, you don't like it. 
Then we, on weekends utawasikia utawasikia wazimio wakisema oh sisi hatutaki oh you are elected member of parliament even if Kenya Kwanza could have defeated you at least you could have seen the voice of the Azimio as opposition it means that you don't have these MPs in the national assembly can we have them you know sometimes they can mobilize themselves are they having the minority whip can they whip their own members of parliament we have a debate and our debate is about this housing bill can they mobilize themselves even if assembly may shikwa mateka we must fight with these people the national assembly must be live these people are busy distributing bursaries i think it is now a right time to face these crooks from kenya kwanza even if they are more, they are many in the national assembly kwani iko nini ladies and gentlemen what do you think drop your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much because of great support please consider subscribing liking commenting and sharing this video